With the advent of web search, we have the world's information at our fingertips. If only we know how to ask the right questions. Web search was envisioned as a cognitive boost to empower human intelligence, empowering people of all ages, all expertise and all backgrounds around the globe with universal access to information. However, when we are grappling with vast amounts of information over multiple sessions and tabs, it's hard to articulate useful and effective search terms to learn about complex issues online. Our information goals can either be simple, such as finding what the COVID-19 acronym stands for, or more complex, such as finding the 10 nearest testing centers. These goals can also be either really concrete and clear information goals like these ones at the bottom, or more abstract and fuzzy like wanting the information to plan whether or not to take the COVID vaccine, or learning something generally about the pandemic. During these more complex, abstract, exploratory searches like the ones in the top right, where users grapple with vast amounts of information over multiple sessions and tabs, people often tend to take notes as they search to help them learn, store, and share information. People who are just starting to explore a new domain or those who lack well-defined information goals for example, often a PhD student like myself when they're learning about a new field. We generally struggle to articulate useful search terms. We have not yet learned domain-specific language that could help us translate our fuzzy goals into concrete search queries. Current search engines attempt to assist people with query formulation, such as auto-completions to help type queries quicker. People also ask for suggestions to help clarify information need, or related searches to help explore related topics. These search suggestions are mostly based on only the user's previous searches and are completely disconnected from other tasks that they do while searching, like note-taking when learning about a new topic, or making a spreadsheet when making a decision, sending emails as they work with collaborators on a project, the content from these applications can provide additional context as to why they're searching in the first place and help with query formulation. The application content can provide a signal for what a user finds relevant across multiple sessions and information sources and potentially reflect the searcher's current understanding of their domain and vice versa the gaps in their knowledge. Therefore, in this project, we investigate if mining notes taken during search for richer context can potentially improve query assistance. Could we potentially arm searchers with domain-relevant language and indicate what else there is to learn within that domain? Let's walk through the system called Conotate. This is its user experience. There are two windows, the search interface on the left and the note-taking interface on the right. We can resize the search interface and the note-taking interface. At the beginning, since there are no notes, there were no applicable query suggestions based on the notes in the query suggestions bar in this top right, top left. When you start adding notes, six query suggestions will appear in the suggestions bar. You can scroll to see more suggestions in the suggestions bar using the arrows. Three suggestions are based on major signals within your notes, and the other three are for potentially missing information in your notes. The query suggestions are updated when you change the notes or when you change your search. Clicking on any of these issues it as a new query. And there are new suggestions based on that. In terms of the system architecture, we have the browser, which queries the World Wide Web and returns search results and other suggestions to the user in the search interface. The connotate browser extension adds the note-taking interface. The content of the searcher's notes and prior searches are sent to the server to be analyzed in the backend. Here within the server, we try to identify major concepts and themes that have been covered in the notes and suggest three of these emerging concepts and themes as opportunities to delve deeper into. These are the notes overview suggestions. For example, here, non-indigenous species, economic damage and native plant communities has already been mentioned in their notes. So these are opportunities to delve deeper into. Then to identify what gaps in the knowledge there are, we compare the major themes and concepts in the top 100 search results pages to the themes and concepts in their notes to identify the gaps in their knowledge. 
three of the most popular concepts missing from their notes are identified as gaps in knowledge and are suggested as notes gap suggestions. For example, here, organism seeds, human health, and the NISIC, which is an important organization to invasive species, haven't been mentioned in their notes, but they commonly occur in the search results, so they are suggested as notes gap suggestions. Also, the search logs and notes are timestamped and anonymized and sent to the study database. Now we wanted to evaluate how this compares to standard web search in terms of how people search and how they learn. So we conducted a within subject study with 38 participants where they were asked to search on two different multifaceted exploratory topics. For example, the impact of non-native species on the environment and the impact of technology on mental health. Participants used Connotate when searching for one topic and then used the baseline system, which is standard web search, when searching for the other. Before and after searching, there was an assessment of their topic knowledge. And at the end, we had a retrospective think aloud interview to gain insight into the challenges faced and strategies used when searching. Analysis shows that when using Connotate, searchers issued significantly more queries, and most of these were via the query suggestions. They also manually typed out significantly fewer queries compared to when using standard web search. They also discover more domain-specific terminology than standard web search and report a significantly higher increase in their self-rated knowledge on that topic. In summary, in a world where we can learn and work across multiple applications, each of those applications feel like their own information silos or walled gardens. In this project, we present a system that given a source of user work or context, for example, the notes, we can highlight patterns and gaps in the discovered knowledge to guide further exploration of a complex information space. This work has been published as a conference paper and the browser extension is available on the Chrome store and the code is available completely open source on GitHub. Thank you so much.